In this presentation, we're going to look at the properties of functions. This is the second example of a few examples related to whether or not a function is one-to-one, -one, onto, and invertible. So let's look at our function here. We have the function f is defined by the rule f of x equals the absolute value of x plus one. Importantly, we're going to look at the domain here, domain is integers and the uh, codomain is also integers. Now let's evaluate this here for let's say f of 2. In that case we have the absolute value of 2 plus 1 that's the absolute value of 3 which is 3. Uh, let's evaluate it for minus 1. In that case, we ha would have minus 1 plus 1, and that is equal to the absolute value of 0, which is 0. Um, f of minus 2, I'll just give the answer to this one, we would get minus, uh, the absolute value of minus 1, that is equal to 1. So there's a few evaluations of for various values of the domain. We would have zero, one, three, zero, and one, corresponding to two minus one and minus two. So, what is the range of this function? This is an important matter. We can only have positive integers. So, this could uh, let's look at the codomain first. This is negative uh, positive integers. and also zero. That is the codomain. But the range of this uh, function is positive integers which we denote uh, z with that plus in as a superscript also zero. Zero is not actually a positive integer, it is not a negative integer, it is just zero. So the range of the values we actually might describe as a set. The range is the union of positive integers and zero. Now, importantly, the range and the codomain are not the same. So is the function onto? No. Codomain. Oops. Codomain is positive. Are all integers? Range. Non-negative integers. Not the same. So the answer is, is the function onto, well the range and the codomain are not the same, so the answer is no. Is this a function one to one? Well, we could have the absolute value of minus three plus one. So let's say we're looking at f of minus three. We would have a value there of a uh, the absolute value of minus 2, which is equal to 2. If we were to look at the function of 1, that would be 1 plus 1, that's also equal to 2. We have two distinct values that, uh, which value, uh, two distinct values, minus 3 and 1, and when we use the function to evaluate the uh, corresponding element in the range, we have the same value here. So the answer is no. We, we, uh, disti uh, distinct, va uh, uh, distinct values of the domain must uh, correspond to distinct values of the range. These are not distinct from one another. So the answer to that question is no. It is not one to one. It is not on to. So it is the case that it is not invertible. Uh, the last question is, is this function invertible? No, not one to one not onto. And that ends our presentation.